Hello. Uh, welcome to Myself as My Cards. Um, I hope you're well and going forward with the things you want to accomplish here in the spring. I have the window open here so uh, that we can have the rain hopefully in the background and that it's not too much. Just kind of cross my fingers on that one. <clears throat> uh, if you're new to Myself as My Cards, Leela and I offer readings and supplies as a married partnership. We are active professional readers who do most of our work with Marseille and Lenormand um, and Vigil Candles. We also employ playing cards, pendulums, and other oracular tools. We can often suggest recommendations of meditations, exercises, spell work, baths, and things to help you with what you want to accomplish. I will be doing a video and releasing it probably next week uh, incorporating Eric Enrique Enriquez's uh, Beautiful Bullshit and Pablo Robledo's new Dodal because I'm happy to have that. Uh, I've been waiting a long time for it. Um, but that'll have to be next week. Uh, it'll be a more card-centric video. Uh, today I want to recognize spring. We've got a new moon in Aries. And so that means that emotion and action encourages impulsive nature. It's a time for wanting to feel free and perhaps prove our independence. So we can form intentions that align with the moon's wateriness in Aries cardinal fire as we move into spring. The types of card and candle readings and petitions that we've been seeing lately, there's a lot of transition, expansion, and success work. Uh, from the soul-sucking corporate job to my own business, how to manage and balance between the two, uh, should I move back to my home country, uh, how do I manage combining households with my aging mother, um, and then boss fix and get that job. Um, on the relationship front, um, they want to see how to make space in their life to bring in a new relationship. Uh, there's a noticeable increase in questions about how to manage poly relationships. Uh, the undertone I'm getting is that most querents have either chosen to keep or leave their relationship already, um, if they have or had one, and uh, instead of trying to keep something going that isn't showing promise, uh, it seems like more people have made decisions about those things. And if they have a good relationship, they're trying to spring forward with it. If they uh, need, if they want to bring in a relationship, they want to uh, see how they can open up their lives to bring that in. Looking back to February, um, there was the expected swell of love's fire and hot sex candles that you get around Valentine's Day, but not nearly the amount that we saw the year before or the year prior to that. Uh, there were a lot more of those then. And I'm just wondering if maybe uh, people are getting all that fiery love that they that they want, you know. In general, there are notably less health issues coming up. Um, it feels like uh, winter had people thinking about their health and the health of others that they love. Uh, now in the spring, it seems more like they want to strike out and make the change for themselves while their partner either support them or stay away. So we read and jam. We try to help them clear those obstacles and open the roads to success. My main topic today is um, that spring is starting off wet here in California, and we have a lot of rain since December. Uh, we've needed it. Uh, there's a lot of green. It is refreshing, but um, there is some flooding. And uh, globally, there are places that are getting bombarded with flooding, uh, Malawi and uh, Turkey. Um, I want to focus on the positivity of spring and what it can do for us energetically to pick us up and uh, so we can clear our obstacles and drive through challenges. So I mentioned last year about my old sage plant that was planted on my property by my mom many years ago. And uh, it suffered some root damage during um, some rigorous tag play by the neighborhood kids. I, I can pretty much envision them standing opposed 
going like this and and then you know it got some root damage um and half of the plant kind of uh, stopped producing. Um, so I trimmed it back and I, and I tried to make it so that it uh, was less, you know, there was less burden. And then I, I propped it up with, with some stakes and stuff. And it, it lasted for a while, but I started taking trimmings off of it to propagate it and maybe be able to get to plant it someplace else. Um, I wanted to post about that, but it was quite a challenge and I wasn't able to get any of them going. Anyhow. The recent heavy rain that we got um, presented more challenges for this plant. It fell all the way down and it damaged the rest of the roots. So I was pretty sad about it, but I uh, appreciated the opportunity to collect what was left and leave some tobacco and a prayer uh, to thank it for its long stay and um, that everything it offered our family over the years. Um, Neither my mom nor I needed to purchase any sage. Probably, I don't. I don't even think I've ever purchased sage uh, because this plant supplied all that we needed. Um, and then I have two more plants now in the backyard that I purchased because I wasn't sure if this one was going to make it, you know. But uh, I, as I was breaking it down, I um, kept an eye out for pieces that were good candidates maybe for um, propagation. And um, this is going to be my last shot, you know. And there was one of them that took. Uh, it is growing new green leaves. Uh, it looks like it's uh, it likes its new home. Um, and that's great. It's out in the front yard by our walkway. And I have some rocks kind of to you know near it to keep people from um anything from happening to it you know i just want it to uh i'm kind of babying it right now and it likes the rains uh so far uh, but it's in a nice uh, kind of sandy place um i'm hoping that and, and a lot of sun can get to it um we'll see how it goes but uh the power of spring uh to assist in the growth of plants, animals, and our lives, we as humans, uh, we can kind of fill our sails with that. Um, it's an auspicious time for growth, and um, it's amazing. So uh, thank you for watching. That was my story. I, I, I hope that that kind of, that I'll, I'll keep you informed if you care to hear more about the plant. I'll probably show more pictures later or something a bit bigger, but, uh, you know, let's, that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, so, uh, open road for everybody out there that wants to, uh, succeed and go forward. Do your own prayer in your own way. Peace.